How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and this is the ultimate FPS increase guide for Diablo 4. In this video we're going to be covering all of the settings, in-game optimizations and other tips and tricks in which you can quickly and easily follow along with on any machine, whether it be high-end, low-end, old or new, to get the best FPS possible, the lowest latency possible and be left with the best possible gameplay experience on your machine. If you do enjoy this video and are happy with your results, please do consider leaving a like on the video as it does help me out tremendously. With that out of the way, let's jump straight in and increase FPS. First of all, before we jump into any in-game settings or optimizations, I would highly recommend that you look into updating your GPU drivers for Diablo 4. Whether you're running on an Intel GPU, AMD Radeon GPU, or Nvidia GPU, whether it be old or new, I would highly recommend updating to the latest GPU drivers. All three of the main manufacturers have published drivers specifically for Diablo 4, where you'll find all of the latest DirectX 12 optimizations and performance improvements for the game itself, before we even jump in and adjust the settings ourselves. If you'd like to update your GPU drivers but not sure how, or not sure what GPU you're using, navigate to the bottom of your desktop, right click on the taskbar, open up Task Manager. Alternatively, press Control, Shift, and Escape your keyboard. Once inside of it, on the left hand side for Windows 11 users, navigate down to the Performance tab. Scroll down towards the bottom, select GPU. In the top right hand side of the GPU panel, you'll be able to find the make and model for the GPU in which you are using. With that information, all you need to do is navigate over to Google, or use one of these three websites on screen now to find the latest GPU drivers for your system. Before we boot into the game and go through all of the best in-game settings and further optimizations you should be utilizing, it's important that we make sure that we aren't running any unnecessary background applications when playing the game. Navigate down to your taskbar. If you find anything that's open that doesn't strictly need to be open when playing Diablo or any game for that matter, close out of it. On top of this, navigate down to your task icon tray and do that as well. It's a very small step, but I'd highly recommend taking it just to ensure that you aren't running tons of bloat in the background when playing the game. For those of you utilizing Windows 11, take yourself down to the bottom, click on the Windows button, search for GPU space settings. Select the graphics settings panel. For Windows 11 users, navigate up to change default graphics settings. We will then be able to find the option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on selected GPUs. If you do see this option, do turn this on. On top of this, on Windows 11, you will find the optimizations for windowed games section. I would highly recommend turning this on, even if you're planning on using full screen in Diablo 4. Unfortunately, DirectX 12 doesn't have a full screen exclusive mode like DX11 and other APIs so when DirectX 12 games are set to full screen, they aren't running a true full screen mode. So this optimization will help DirectX 12 games. Once you've booted into the game, navigate to the bottom left to start game and we're just going to load into a live instance. Once you've booted into the game, we're now ready to tackle the in-game settings and optimizations. On the top left hand side, probably wondering how I'm able to see my in-game FPS, I'm utilizing a tool called Revertune Statistics Server, which comes bundled with MSI Afterburner, which you can find online. There's a full guide in which I have on the channel, you can follow along with that to create your own in-game FPS counter for any games. You don't have to see what your in-game FPS counter is for this optimization guide, but it can help and it's super quick and easy to turn on and off. I've now booted into the game and I'm utilizing the game's default settings. I'm achieving about 110 FPS, which is fantastic, but there is so much more FPS we can unlock by optimizing the game without giving up tons of visual fidelity. Take yourself to the escape menu, then navigate to the left hand side to options. Start by going to the graphics panel and we'll start at the top. First option we're going to be setting is windowed full screen. Next up, we're going to set the adapter to utilize the best GPU available on our system. Next up, select the monitor in which you're using, that's fine. The resolution option may be available for you, but we're not going to be changing it anyway, as we're utilizing a windowed full screen game, so it's just going to defaultly use your desktop resolution. We can change the sharpening filter at the end of this video, as this is personal preference, alongside font scale and cursor scale. Start off by disabling vertical sync. Nobody should be using this in pretty much all cases. Limit cutscene FPS. This can be useful for taking off extra load off the system, but if you want the game to look super smooth and silky, I wouldn't recommend enabling this. The next few options are complete personal preference, and you can adjust those according to your personal preference. Before adjusting the performance tab, we're going to navigate down to the quality tab and go through three different presets in which I'd recommend that you utilize. On screen now, from the left hand side, the middle and the right hand side, you'll see selected presets in which I would recommend that you follow along with, depending on what sort of level of visual fidelity you're looking at or what sort of system you're on. What you need to do is simply pause the video, copy the settings which are being shown on screen now, save changes, go back into your game and see how the game looks. If you don't like that preset, go to a different one, see how the game looks, see how it performs. We want to dial in the quality preset settings first, as these are going to be the settings which are really going to change how the game looks. For those of you on very high end systems to medium end systems. If you're looking for some super quick and simple settings, I would highly recommend just utilizing the medium preset. It keeps many of the good looking visual settings still enabled, whilst giving a decent FPS performance uplift. My game defaultly booted into the ultra preset config, and I've now applied the optimized settings. We're not completely done with the FPS boosts yet, but you could see from beforehand my game was getting about 101 FPS, and now able to achieve about 131, which is a decent 30% FPS increase from just a few simple settings, and the game still looks phenomenal. If you went with the medium preset, you'd see even more FPS. If you went with one of the lower end presets, which were on screen, you would get even more. Once you have dialed in your quality settings, we can then never get up to the individual settings we can change around. Resolution percentage, I wouldn't recommend adjusting this for anyone on an NVIDIA GPU. Instead of using resolution percentage, you should be using NVIDIA DLSS. If you don't have an NVIDIA GPU that supports DLSS, that's completely fine
fine and we'll be covering resolution percentage in a few moments time. For those of you on Nvidia GPUs, if you want the absolute best visuals possible and you don't mind giving up about 10% performance, you could enable Nvidia's DLAA or Deep Learning Anti-Aliasing. This is basically DLSS but you aren't doing any upscaling. The anti-aliasing from DLAA is absolutely beautiful and if you want the best looking game possible, this is definitely an option you want to go with. If you're looking for a decent performance increase, try out the quality setting for DLSS, hit save changes, go back to your game. Enabling that option has brought me up to 175 frames per second. Take a look how the game looks visually. If you're still happy with how it looks, press the escape menu, change this down to balanced, and keep lowering this setting until you're no longer happy with how it looks visually. Change it back to a setting in which you're both happy with visually and how it performs. I really like balanced on this system and I'm able to achieve about 190 FPS, which is a 90 FPS increase from my original FPS when we first booted the game. For those of you on an RTX 40 series graphics card or a GPU that supports frame generation, in nearly every single scenario, enable this setting. Enabling this setting and pressing save changes, you will see an absolutely astronomical FPS increase as you have now enabled frame generation or frame insertion. This will mean that there is an AI generated frame in between every single frame being rendered by both your CPU and GPU, further increasing visual performance. For those of you on super high FPS at this point, you don't have to enable frame generation, but it's definitely a fantastic option to enable at this point. For those of you on a non-NVIDIA GPU and you can't use DLSS, we can instead use the resolution percentage setting. Start by taking this down to 90%. Going back to the game, if the game is slightly blurry at this point, you can counteract this by going to the options menu, going towards the top, and increasing the sharpen image setting. If 90% still looks good but you want more FPS, take this down to about 85%. Continue to go down by about 5-10% to at a time until you find a setting in which you are happy with, both visually and the FPS in which you are getting. But again, for those of you on NVIDIA GPUs, go with DLSS instead. At this point in the video, I would highly recommend maximizing the foreground FPS. This is the FPS you are able to achieve in game, as we will be capping this later on. Max background FPS, I would recommend leaving this at the default 8. This means that when you tab out of the game, it runs incredibly slowly, but it means that there is a lot less load on the GPU and CPU. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. If you are going to be capping your in-game FPS later on in the video, set this to enabled. Otherwise, go with enabled plus boost. Let me get down to the bottom to save changes. In terms of the gameplay tab, controls tab, social and accessibility, those settings are all personal preference and won't really affect FPS whatsoever. Once you've dulled in all of your in-game settings and you're happy with how the game looks and how the game now performs, there are a few last things we should do before closing out of this guide. Number one is to cap your in-game FPS. On games like Diablo, I would highly recommend prioritizing a consistent performance experience rather than the absolute fastest possible. This can take a little bit of extra strain off of your GPU, keeping your boost clocks higher for longer, resulting in better performance in longer gaming sessions alongside a quieter and cooler PC. It's a win-win scenario. Better yet, if you can make use of G-Sync or FreeSync in this game, I would highly recommend that you do so. Whether you're looking to capture in-game FPS or introduce G-Sync or FreeSync into the game, I would advise against utilizing the FPS cap method built with inside of the game. This isn't the most stable solution solution for in-game frame times and you will get slightly inconsistent performance when using this. Instead, I'd recommend setting this all the way up to 400, selecting save settings, and utilizing either the NVIDIA control panel or AMD Radeon control panel to cap your in-game FPS. If you don't want to use those methods, by all means you can implement your FPS cap inside of the in-game menu. For those of you on an NVIDIA GPU to cap your FPS, take yourself over to the desktop, right click, navigate to show more options, and open the NVIDIA control panel. Head up to the top left hand side to adjust image settings with preview and ensure that the advanced 3D image settings has been selected in the middle. Set that go to the bottom right, select apply. Then navigate over to the left hand side to manage 3D settings. Make sure that you're not on global settings and that you go over to program settings. Once inside of here, hit the drop down menu and we're going to look for Diablo 4. If you can't find Diablo 4 inside of this menu, head over to the right hand side to add. Inside of here, I'm able to find Diablo 4 retail. If you can't find it within inside of this drop down menu, go to the bottom right to browse, find the game location, add the exe manually with inside of here. Select add selected program. We then need to scroll down to the option for max frame rate. Inside of this option, go to the drop down menu, set this to on. If you're not entirely sure where you want to cap your in-game FPS, a great place to start is to match this to your monitor's refresh rate, or a multiple of that. Let's say you had a 120Hz monitor, you could go with an FPS cap of 120, or if you're able to achieve really high FPS, you could go with an FPS cap of 240. If you do have FreeSync or G-Sync available to you, I would highly recommend utilizing it in Diablo 4. To do a proper G-Sync or FreeSync setup in a few seconds, all you need to do is head over to the NVIDIA control panel for NVIDIA users, head up to the Setup G-Sync on the left hand side, select the monitor you're going to be utilizing, go to Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, and ensure it's been enabled for both windowed and full screen mode. All you need to do is navigate over to Manage 3D Settings, head over to Program Settings, 
settings, find Diablo once again. Inside of here, under the max frame rate section, turn this to on, and we need to set the maximum frame rate limiter to 3 FPS lower than your monitor's refresh rate. I have a 144Hz monitor, 3 FPS lower than that is 141. Select OK, navigate down towards the bottom to vertical sync, and we're going to be turning this to on. Once vertical sync has been enabled and your FPS capped with G-Sync enabled, go to the bottom right, select apply. For those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs, head over to the gaming section at the top, navigate down to global display, ensure that free sync has been enabled, set your in-game FPS limiter or performance limiter down in this box to 3 FPS lower than your monitor's refresh rate. For me again, that's 141. Go back over to the global game settings, find Diablo, force V-Sync on with inside of the control panel. Now, whether you're utilizing an NVIDIA GPU or AMD GPU, you've got free sync or G-Sync enabled with the FPS capped and V-Sync turned on in your control panels. All you now need to do is boot back inside of the game, find the option for vertical sync and ensure that vertical sync is disabled in game. You want it enabled in your control panels and disabled in the game. Once that's completed, hit close. You'll see a slight reduction in overall GPU usage. Your GPU won't be drawing as much power, saving money on your energy bills, keeping the GPU cooler for longer and helping sustain higher performance in your system for longer alongside delivering you the most silky smooth gameplay experience possible on Diablo 4. And the beauty of utilizing G-Sync or FreeSync on top of this is it doesn't matter if your performance fluctuates throughout the game as you're still gonna get that beautiful silky smooth experience with the variable refresh rate technology. If you're looking for some bonus optimizations and wanna dive deeper into performance optimizations to squeeze out even more performance, you can check out the advanced FPS optimization guide which is on screen now. You can find that by the link in the description down below or on the card on the top right hand side. For those of you looking to spend a bit of extra time really diving deep into your system to get better performance. If you have enjoyed this video and are happy with your performance, please leave a like as it does help me out tremendously and let me know of what settings you're utilizing or tips and tricks you may have in that comment section down below. And in the meantime, if you're looking to get more FPS optimizations out of other games or across your system, check out one of the two videos on the screen now and I'll see you guys over.